All right, what's going on, everybody? Sports expert here. I just wanted to report some breaking news we have in the NFL. We do have an interesting move here by the Houston Texans. They are releasing former All-Pro defensive end Whitney Merciless. He was an All-Pro in 2016. Has a very was a very solid player for the Texans in his tenure. He played 10 seasons there, had 57 sacks in 102 career games. Was a very good run stopper and everything. He's a very very good football player. Whoever gets him will get a nice football player. We'll see if he starts anywhere or maybe backs up. But, you know, anywhere, starting or backup, he's a very solid player. And he he was having a solid season with Houston. They just want to go younger and give guys like Jacob Barton and Jonathan Grenard more playing time, which makes sense because the Texans really aren't trying to do anything. They'll save the cap space. They don't. They weren't able to find a trade partner, but they were able to save some cap and give some younger players more opportunities to see what they got in this lengthy rebuild as the Texans are now 1-5. So, not sure when Tyrod Taylor will be coming back, but Davis Mills, he's been playing okay. Not good, but not great. You know, but not bad at the same time. So, but the Texans, they are cutting Whitney Merciless. It seems like David Coley and company want to go younger. Nick Casario is really, he's really committed to the rebuild of the Houston Texans. And obviously, Deshaun Watson hasn't been traded yet. He'll probably be traded in the offseason. So, yeah. I would be shocked if Deshaun Watson was traded midseason. But, you know, crazier things have happened. And the Houston Texans, they are looking for some youth. I think I thought Grenard was all right in the draft, third-round pick. I had a fourth, fifth-round grade on him. But at the same time, you know, you got to get some young players like that if you're the Texans. You got to give them opportunities. So can't really go against it at this point. So, yeah. And Jacob Martin's a little solid player. I've watched him a bit. He's solid. I don't know if he'll make a huge impact in the NFL or anything like that, but he can make some plays once in a while. So we'll see what the Texans got as they also have some young defensive tackles, including Ross Blacklock, who they took in the second round last year of TCU. I thought Blacklock was an all right prospect, but you know. So Whitney Merciless has been cut. Teams that I could see him going to, maybe the New York Jets. They're a team. Maybe... I don't know. There's some teams out there that are looking for defensive help. The Chargers are. The Chiefs. The Chiefs are definitely a big one I could see for Merciless. Kansas City. So. And another team I would say. I don't know. But at the same time. Whitney Merciless has been cut. And he will be sought after by multiple teams. No, he wasn't sought after too hard on the trade market. Because teams knew he was probably going to be cut at some point this season. So. Yeah. So. Appreciate everyone being our sports expert here. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new. Turn on post notifications. Like the video. Comment what you think about this move by the Texans. The former All-Pro defensive end Whitney Merciless being cut. He can play outside linebacker too. He more he fits more of a 3-4 scheme, but he can play in a 4-3, I guess, at defensive end. And maybe can play some linebacker too. So some off-the-ball linebacker. But yeah. But the teams, obviously the Jets, Chiefs, Chargers might be looking for some defensive line help. Maybe even the Bengals for depth behind Hendrickson and Hubbard. That would make sense. So, yeah, sports expert here. I'm out, guys. Peace.